Matrix with lasers. This is one of the community submitted achievements. Going to start off with requirements, then look at some tips, strategy, and then gameplays. For this achievement, players must play from the start. Then difficulty, death wish or higher. Next is no sniper death. It doesn't matter whether the sniper is killed by a player or a sentry or a convert. As long as a sniper dies, the achievement is voided. So avoid converts since they cannot be controlled. Bots can still be used though, I'll cover that later. Lastly, we must use the C4 tunneling escape. That's all. Whoa, what about the beast drill? It's written in the description, right? Uh, yeah, the description does mention the beast drill, but it's actually not needed at all. Still, if we wish to do it that way, it's possible. So now that we know the beast drill is not needed, we have even more choices with our approach. I even made a flowchart, take a look. So the first and good thing that we can see here is that no matter your preference of loud and proud, sneaky beaky, or even a mix of both, you are all covered. In fact, I've prepared a few different gameplays in case you guys want to see how I would do them. So check them out at the end. So first, no matter how we do it, we must hack the time lock. If going loud, we will have to head onto the roof to rewire the time lock and face the wrath of snipers. Or we can skip the rewire altogether through stealth. Stealthing the time lock in armor is not as difficult as it seems. I'll cover more in the strategy section. And once the time lock is done, we can go for the beast drill, which is risky. Or just select the termite entry to skip the crane section. Again, we can also open the vault in stealth to avoid all of that. And with the vault open and loot back, we go loud if still in stealth, plant the C4 and complete the final crossing section. And that covers the various ways we can do this achievement. Next, tips. So the first part of the tips is about moving bags. We would need to secure 4 bags of loot to enable the escape. And since we want to expose ourselves to the snipers as little as possible, we'll go for the lighter money bags. And while we are moving the bags in the final crossing, we don't want cops to be breathing down our necks. If we just broke stealth, we will have enough time to move 4 bags before the cops catch up to us. We can even get the alarm delay asset for more time. Otherwise in loud, with multiplayer we can have some players defend while others move and secure the bags. Or just use bots to draw fire. Again, strategy section for the bots. For a solo player, I would advise doing the crossing only during an assault break. Remember to grab a hostage beforehand, so that we have an extra 10 seconds before the next assault starts. Or we could use the sentry trick to draw most of the cops away. The sentry spot is in the first part of the bank on the second floor. Whoa, look at all those cops. We will want to place the sentry under this table here. And if Winters does arrive, we can leave him alone so that the cops will be stuck at this sentry indefinitely. Next, the final crossing. For the crossing itself, we want to throw the money bags from cover to cover, move and then repeat until we get to the zipline. I personally do not like to rely solely on luck to get past this section. Even more so since I usually play solo. So here are some things we can use to improve our chances against the snipers. In skills, we will be looking at survival. First, uppers ace as a backup, in case we screw up when moving. Feel free to drop one at every cover. Just be sure to watch out for the 20 second uppers ace cooldown. Quick fix ace can help a little. If we have extra skill points left over, we can put it into this. Stockholm Syndrome Ace will be our extra 1-up, especially for solo players. Just be sure to keep our hostages hidden away so cops won't free them. Then the next two will be from the Fugitive Tree. Swan Song, so that we can move to the next cover before going down, combined with Feign Death for another chance. I don't recommend Messiah though, because at this point we shouldn't have anything to shoot at except snipers, and obviously we don't want to shoot them. Next is a technique. We can play peekaboo with the snipers, or basically baiting them to fire. From our cover, we'll stick out for a short bit and then move back. Once baited, they will fire at the cover and then stop for a bit before their next shot. We can then take this opportunity to move to the next cover. Of course, 4 snipers might not be baited all at the same time, but this technique alone can reduce the shots taken and save us from a lot of damage. It's even better if we combine this with perk decks. So, perk decks. First, we have Fangs, Crew Chief and Stoic. 
crew chief with ICTV, Frenzy Ace and 4 hostages can tank 3 shots, while Stoic in ICTV can tank 9 shots. Crew chiefs can simply bait the snipers, run to the next cover, heal with a first aid kit and then repeat. Or Stoic players can just eat the bullets like candy, then have some whiskey or a first aid kit and repeat. Then we have Kingpin. 6 seconds in vulnerability, I'll leave that to your imagination. Next is Sicario. Not the best option for a solo player, since the grenade cooldown is pretty long. But with a full team of Sicarios, the entire crossing can be covered. And last, my favourite for this achievement is Muscle. Muscle's panic works wonders with the snipers, since panic actually suppresses enemy, which first reduces their accuracy by half. Half is a lot! And then, it also disables them for 2.6 to 4.3 seconds. The micro gun works very well for this, so bring it along, fire in their general direction, and watch them cower in fear. Dance for me, maggots! <laughs> Whew, okay, I think that was the longest tip section I have ever done. Let's go to the strategy. So, as discussed before with the flowchart, we can approach this achievement in a few different ways. 99% stealth. We can stealth until the vault is open before going loud to activate the C4 escape. One of the things we can do to make it even better is to secure 3 bags in the escape van first before going loud. 3, not 4, so that we won't trigger the van escape. Then we can just make the final sprint with only one bag. And to make it through the sprint alive easily, we can bring Stoic, First Aid Kits and the ICTV. Of course, that's with a secondary armor bag. This definitely is the easiest way for a stealther. Then we have Partial Stealth, which is to stealth the time lock and to skip the rewiring. With 75 detection risk, the best way to approach the time lock objective is to start from the staircase near the roof ladder or the corridor where the manager's office is. Usually there will be cameras in this area which can be broken to lure guards and then take them out. Once we have taken both guards out, we can safely break the other cameras and secure the entire second floor and the office on the first floor. Then continue on as usual. One loud way is to avoid the roof totally. Or if we are playing solo with bots, this is the only way to go. Just like the previous method, we have to first stealth the time lock since we don't want to go to the roof and have the bots accidentally take out a sniper. Of course, with multiple players, one can pull the bots away while the other goes to do the rooftop objectives, but that would be tedious, so let's just assume bots and the roof don't mix well. And then we make our entry with thermite and continue to the end. But let's not forget, for this strategy, we are using bots, so here's two things we have to watch out for. First is the sniper that can spawn on the ledge with the tents. It's only a 5% chance every assault, so it shouldn't happen. But even if it does, we don't have to panic. Just simply wait out the assault and he will retreat together with the rest of the cops. And then for the final crossing, how do we get the bots to not follow us? We can get the bots to hold position right at the top of these stairs, past the meeting room where the vault entrance can spawn. The distance from this location to the escape is just right. Just try to get them as close as possible to the wall and not run past the zip line. They should stay nicely in position and attract all the enemies while we do our thing. Then we have this for the hardcore, loud as intended. It's mostly about the roof and the beast drill. For this, I definitely recommend muscle. The snipers at the extreme top of the building can be repeatedly panicked into a position where they can no longer fire downwards. Likewise, the ones at the windows can be panicked until they are totally blocked from firing. And when we do die on the zip line, we only go down when landing, so a first aid kit at the end of it can save us from a down. Place one before zipping up to the crane. Alternatively, with multiplayer, we can send one player each on a suicide mission to the crane and time lock rewire, then have them go into custody and trade them out after. A solo player can instead use feign death and Stockholm Syndrome skills to survive. And lastly, the beast drill parts asset can be placed to avoid going back to the central area, where it's exposed to the sniper's line of sight. This helps especially when the beast drill jams 3 times for a solo player. And then the rest is the same, the final crossing. Yep, so that's it for the strategy. This was a fun video for me to do. I hope it was fun for you to watch as well. There will be 3 gameplays coming up, one for each strategy. For the stealth one, you can either watch the full gameplay or skip ahead to just before the escape. 
enjoy watching them and I'll see you in the next video. By failing to prepare, is the in it will be in position. This, as you wish. This will make excellent time to put it. It's a beautiful building, but we're bringing ugly business. Nothing to worry about here. Keep controlling, control. Sorry, everything is okay. Thanks for caring. Down and stay put. On the ground! Come with me! Now, down! There will be a computer in one of the staff rooms that we can hack. Find it. Get down on the ground! Follow me! Come on! Follow me!
another one. Terminal. Try another. Accessing now. This one's a washout. Another one. Quick. Terminal. Try another. Oh, this is, is, is maybe this is, this is trying to this is, this is, this is, this is, control.
force in the vault. That should help. Is anyone going to pick up the phone? Good afternoon. You're through to the benevolent. This is Martin. Hi, this is Jen. I'm calling from Gensec. We registered an unscheduled activation of the time lock. I'm just calling to make sure everything's all right. Oh, uh, yeah, that. Uh, the manager was showing the system off to his new PA. But I guess the time lock isn't the only thing that's going to get an unscheduled activation. I see. Sure, that happens. Okay, just try to call us beforehand next time. Roger that. You guys are doing a great job. Bye. Sucker fell for it.
guys. It's on now. Yeah, Great. Now place it in C4, and we can start getting out of this place. Consider these wise words. A line of excellent. Time to put it to the Maybe <laughs> trying to <laughs> control. Four, over. Terminal, try another. 
accessing now. Well, okay. Have a great day. What? This one's a washout. Another one. are on the booth. Expect company. Watch your background. Spare the civilians. Thanks for caring, but nothing's going on here. Janet Jensek, our systems picked up an unscheduled activation of your time lock. I'm just calling to confirm everything is fine. We had a scheduling conflict. Major account holder turned up a day early. The big account from um, the body. Got it. No problem. Just keep us informed. Sure. Thanks for keeping us safe. Bye. <laughs> Looks like we dodged that one. Don't move! Help! Help! 
Hey, Dallas, follow me! I'm coming!
effect. Now blow the wall and let's get the hell out of here. Right here. I placed the first aid kit here.
failing to prepare. You are producing this Trojan, this out. Your reputation for being punctilious is the time for action. Ready for action. Now, down! That hostage is going to slow the cops down. Okay, time to really fuck this up! Come on! Follow me! Come with me. Follow.
a little magic bastard. Shield down. Yeah.
Now blow the wall, and let's get the hell out of here!
Keep your guns! 